Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Pointwise Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we'll discuss how to create database pairs using the offset command. Let's jump right into Pointwise. Okay, let's select this curve and go to Create Offset. And there's a few different ways that we can prescribe the offset distance. So the first, uh, if you notice, the cursor is a plus sign. So this means that we can actually use a mouse click to set our offset point. The second and most common way is to actually prescribe an offset distance in the offset distance field. And then if you don't know the offset distance, but you do know a point that you would like your curve to pass through, you can use this XYZ field to set um, the offset distance that way. And then finally, you can actually uh, drag, <laughs> drag this point um, around and position it manually if you need to. And in all of these cases, if you want the offset curve to be on the other side of your original curve, you can use the flip button uh, to take it to the other side. So let's look at the circle now. So again, create offset. And if you notice, all of the, all of the uh, pending offset curves are always parallel to the original curve in the view uh, that you're currently looking at. So if you needed to take this offset curve into a different plane, you can do that by uh, just rotating and changing your view. So now I can still drag it. I can, uh, I could still prescribe an offset distance. Uh, but if we look, it's in a, a slightly different plane from our original curve. Okay. And Let's look at this case. So in this situation, I ha have selected an offset distance, but I'm not getting any pending lines. So this is where the tolerance frame comes in. The fit tolerance allows you to adjust the fit tolerance for situations where you're not getting this pending line. Um, so let's put it back to zero and let's increase the fit tolerance uh, to 0.1. And we can see that we have, now our pending line has come back. And if we keep increasing the fit tolerance, we can uh, get a smoother and smoother representation of the original curve. If you like this video, please be sure to click the thumbs up button or subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.